Hello, 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 everybody. Here is Dr. Wild again talking about different topics on science. Remember, the guy that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hme.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Wild which topics do we have? Research, community education, care delivery, hours, and achievement. The article to review today is the body deserves the care of people with intersex traits evolve as clinicians and researchers let more and listen more. An otherwise healthy baby is born with a phallus that seems small for a penis but a big for a clitoris. The labia are partially fused so that they resemble a scrotum. A young girl complains of abdominal tendencies. An exam for a suspect ingenial hernia instead finds a pair of uncensored tested. A teen race as a male comes to the doctor bleeding from his penis. An ultrasound revealed that a previously undetected uterus had she is leaning through the uretra. He's experiencing his first period. From Cambridge, Massachusetts at Harvard University Medical School, I want to remind you everybody that you can also download this beautiful article from the official website at the magazine of Harvard Medical School. I continue doing this review straight away. Each year, a portion of the population is born with biological characteristics, sex, chromosome, gonads, genitalia, hormones, and a combination that don't fit textbook definition or male or female, most difference present a birth. A minority are accompanied by significant even life threatening medical concerns. Other pop little or no danger, in many cases the physical and physiological risks are uncertain. Since the 1990s, when patients' advocacy groups gained a national platform, debates have cluttered about which difference indicate pathologic and which represent a spectrum of human sex characteristics that deserve acceptance. Such questions have fueled disagreement over whether to reveal a, a typical sex characteristic as disorder of sex development or DSDS as they have been classified by the medical profession since 2006 as difference of a deserved sex development to avoid pathologizing language as intersex stress or variation in sex characteristics or to abandon umbrella characteristics as use only the names of specific conditions. It isn't clear how common DSDS are in part because they encompass of 40 to 60 conditions with an even greater number of causes. Estimates of incidents range from more than 1 in 100 to less than 1 in 5,000 births, suggesting a prevalence between 66,000 and 3.3 million people in the United States. Four comparison Down syndrome occurs in 1 in 800 births. The relative variety of cases combined with anemic material in medical school curriculum and significant research gap leave many physicians, surgeons, mental health specialists, and others struggling to understand how best to care of these underserved people through its conflicting pressures from professional patients' advocacy and human rights groups and waiters grow ever midier. Clinical and bioethical questions about what's the best way to work with families to assign the right sex when babies are born with deserves genital presentation, when and how should healthcare teams recommend interviewing. 
how to provide your ad responsibility with the defined diagnosis or long term outcome data, how to balance safety with patients autonomic, how to uncouple medical necessity from societal pressures that call for people to conform to a sex binary. It can be hard even to talk about it. A lot of clinicians have close runs, says Jameson Garland, a Harvard Law School alum and research at Absolut University in Sweden, who specializes in children's rights in biomedicine. They are under incredible scrutiny, incredible pressure to not talk, and many of them struggle to have yellow outside of their especially anti-medical profession in general. Generalists can expect to encourage a handful of patients with DSTS throughout their careers. But avoiding conversation does a disservice to both patients and practitioners, not least because generalistic can expect to encourage a handful of patients with DSDS throughout their careers. If you practice long enough, you will define come across it, say Business Smith, a neonatologist and an Harvard Medical School assistant professor of pediatrics at Boston Children's. It helps to think about it and talk about it before it comes an issue directly related to you, so you don't have to cope with it on the fly. If anything is clear, is how the heterogenetic of DSDS reflects a diversity of patients, identities, and opinions and prevents one side fits all healthcare decision making. Let's talk about sex, sperm mix A and chromosome mix and match. Most embryos inherit two sex chromosomes, either XX or XY, which typically leads to body classify as female and male, but the story isn't always so simple. Genetic mutation or variation on the sex chromosome or elsewhere can create discrepancy between the classic karyotypes and physical characteristics. DSDS also can arise if embryos inherit unusual numbers of sex chromosomes, such as X or XXY, or develop different karyotypes in different cells, known as genetic mosaicisms. No genetic factors contribute as well. Early futures have a structure called the urogenital right that give rise to the gonads, kidneys, and adrenal glands. These interconnected explains several DSDS, including white babies with changes in the wheels tumor suppressor gen WT1 have a high risk of kidney failure and tumors in childhood along with underdeveloped gonas and genitourinary variations. Rarely gonads fail to develop altogether, leaving non-functional streaks of fibrous tissue with high cancer risk, or in the second most common cause of diverse genital presentation, embryos develop what mature gonad, usually a testis and one strict gonad in ovotesticular DSD, infants have a mix of gonad tissue. In some TSD, the wolf find look, which usually become the vast difference epididymis or seminal vesicle in males and disappears in females, or the Mullerian ducts, which usually become the fallopian tubes and uterus in females and disappear in males, don't develop as expected. Boys with persistent Mullerian duct syndrome have problems producing or detecting the hormone that normally suppress maturation and 
female associate structures. In girls with major Crocland Sky Cluster House Syndrome, the Mullerian groups fail to develop properly. Many DSD alter development of a sternal genitalia which usually form as clitoris and labia unless exposed to testosterone from the test. People with XY chromosomes whose bodies can detect androgens appear female at birth and a puberty they develop less as testosterone gets converted to estrogen, but they don't produce sperms, have uterus or develop secondary male sex characteristics. The International DSD Register holds data from about 3,000 patients ranking in age from infancy to 77 years in 34 countries. The National Institute of Health found DSD Transactional Research Network spanning 12 United States clinical sites is examining genetic cause and participant physical and mental health. By centralizing and standardizing data collection, such effort has begun to identify new DSDS and biomarkers and track charts and long-term outcomes of DSDS and treatments. Information thus historical being in short supply with the goal of improving diagnosis and care. The results are called clarify how often people with DSDS are assigned access of birth that they later do not identify with. A rate that studies estimate to be between 5% and 60% depending on the condition. Alright guys, remember you can download this beautiful article from the magazine of Harvard Medical School. I want also to say that this article has been wrote by Andrew Dawson, he's a science writer in Harvard Medical School Office of Communications and External Relations. I hope to see you next time, bye bye!